Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today we're making our very first Black Armory video on this channel. And I know a lot of you guys might be a little bit disappointed in this content drop and I actually say specifically content drop and not DLC for a very good reason. This is not a DLC, it is a very different format and honestly, I'm pretty happy that Bungie is trying this out. Now yes, it does suck that there isn't a whole lot of content that dropped yesterday but again, you guys have to realize that this is going to be spaced out content. It's not going to be like Curse of Osiris and Warmind where they just give us everything on a silver platter. They're going to kind of drip feed all of this content over the course of not only a few weeks, but over the course of a few months up until the next, I guess, content drop comes out, which is, I think, Gambit's gambit something i can't remember the actual name of the event but anyways guys today what we're doing is talking about the volander forge i'm hopefully pronouncing that correctly this is the very first forge that we actually have unlocked and it came out yesterday and the power level is 510 for the very first wave 520 for the second and 530 for the boss encounter itself i'm going to be giving you guys kind of a walkthrough of what me and my team did and an easy guy to take out the boss now this really isn't that difficult of a challenge a lot of people are making it out to be some big monster and they're kind of you know saying that it's super difficult when in reality you can get this done pretty effectively within a few runs while you're very under leveled you don't have to be 615 or 620 or anything ridiculous like that to complete this in fact in this video I believe I was 611 and my two teammates were about 606 and 607 or 608 so really not that difficult you know you do a few milestones you do some gambits some raids that kind of stuff and then you can jump right in here without too much of a hassle. The one thing I would recommend though is make sure you have a Well of Radiance and of course three Black Spindles. One of your players can have a Sleeper Simulant but of course Black Spindles is the way to go as you get your ammo back once you land headshots on the boss consecutively. So the goal of this entire forge is to essentially forge your weapon and to do that you have to charge the forge using these batteries that these highlighted blue enemies drop. It's very simple just spray spread out into you know different sections I would say one of my teammates went into the cave one was where I'm at and my second teammate ZK uh, was to the right of me so we split up and that kind of limited the amount of ads that we would have on each of us and that way we could help each other out from time to time by team shotting and stuff like that and overall it was pretty simple you just got to kill those blue enemies and they would drop a battery you throw it at the forge and every single time you kill one of those ads you get five seconds back on the clock and when you throw the battery at the forge you would get an additional one second so you'd basically have to just complete that before the time runs out move on to the second wave and then yet again do it again for the second wave and then finally you would finish that and move on to the boss fight now the boss itself is a bit challenging he's definitely a bullet sponge but what you want to do as soon as he spawns is take out the shields that he has orbiting around him they're going to be these robotic things that are floating simply shoot them with a pulse rifle make sure not to waste the super or anything ridiculous like that and then once he's actually out of his shield put a radiant well in the back of the map where me and my teammates are standing right now you're going to get shot at by a lot of enemies there's going to be scions that you know shoot those uh, specific attacks where they launch you up in the air don't worry about any of that stuff it's going to be very annoying you guys are going to die a lot but the number one thing you want to do is just keep shooting at the boss now there's two reasons why I say that number one is because there's a time limit and number two is that if you stop shooting him for about six or seven seconds his shield will come back and that's going to be extremely annoying for you to deal with if you keep doing consistent damage to him and you know keep persisting his shield will not come up and that's essentially one of the ways that you can easily mess this up if his shield comes up you're wasting about 20 seconds trying to take that down so make sure you and your team have consistent fire on him that's basically it guys, stand in the back with your spindles, try landing all of your headshots, and if you do run out of ammo, make sure the person who does run out of ammo is just clearing out some of the ads, while the other guys can, you know, shoot their shots without too much, you know, flinching, I guess. So, that's everything guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video, if you enjoyed, a like rating would be very much appreciated, subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all later, peace.